In today's video, I'm going to show you how I made a DIY wall sconce. So you can buy these wall sconces and they're beautiful, but they're a little pricey. So I decided to make my own. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is get a cord with a light switch. Now this wall is drywall and there's no stud behind it. So I used anchors behind. I put it up straight so the way that i got it straight is by using a leveler just hold up the leveler and try and make it so that the bubble inside is in the middle so i'm going to step back and make sure this is straight all right here's my toolbox okay uh you'll need a drill for this and make sure that there's a bit on the end that is like a screwdriver you need a leveler measuring tape. This is to find a stud on the wall. I have tried several brands and nothing really works very well. So if you find a brand that you really love, let me know in the comments down below because I will be looking into it. I need a hammer. Okay, and then here I have all of my screws. I'll show you what kind is best. These ones right here, they come in a pack at Home Depot or Lowe's and it comes with the screw that it'll match. So obviously this one's too big. So like this, so that will be perfect. But uh, you want about maybe six per light here. Now this, I have my bits in here. I'm gonna show you what a pilot and create a hole and then I'll put the anchor in there, I'll hammer it in, and then once the anchor is in there, then I'll drill the screw in with the bit, so this bit. So I'm switching and switching every time I do it. So this is it, This, these are all the tools you'll need. You'll need this bit as a guide, as a pilot, and then you'll need a hammer. You'll need the stud finder, You'll need a drill, and you'll need this bit right here, which is like a screwdriver. You'll need the leveler, so you can make sure everything is straight. And you'll need a measuring tape, so you can measure the wall and make sure it's a specific distance from other things that you want it to be. And you can use a crafting pencil, too. Um, I have one here, okay. So this might be helpful just to draw on the wall exactly where you want it to be. I made one hole right here and one hole right here with the anchors and then drilled them in to hold this part. And then as I went up, I used the leveler all the way up to the top of the wall and then also used an anchor and screw in there. And I used a drill to drill it in. And then I went this way and used a bracket. Now this bracket is made of metal, but you can also use a wooden bracket. And then the cord hangs right here. And then I bought the light cage separately. And then inside is an LED vintage amber light bulb. This is my living room backdrop. So it's right behind my couch. So that's what the backdrop looks like. I like its simple and minimalist look. Um, let me try and turn on the lights so you can see what it looks like. That's what the backdrop looks like. I think it's a nice calming and inviting look. Okay, so the first thing you wanna do is put, plug it in and plug it into the top one because if it's the bottom one, then it'll be covering the top one and then you won't be able to use the top one if you need it. After making sure that this is straight, you're gonna wanna make your first point. So in order to do that, you need an anchor because this is probably drywall and there's no stud. A stud means that like there's different wood planks here to hold up the wall. And it's usually every 16 inches, but it's the same all the way across the wall. However, we don't know where it is exactly. So we use a stud finder to pinpoint 
where it is. And these things, oh there. If I drilled a hole, it would hit wood. And then I would not need an anchor. They call it an anchor because once it goes through the wall, it has little things on it that kind of hook the drywall so it won't come out. And then you put the screw through it. And then the second step is taking the light switch and securing it there on the wall so it doesn't move. And it's easy to press without shifting anything. And then you'll wanna secure it right there. And then going up to the top, you probably, you actually need like an actual ladder. A step ladder will not even reach this height. Then you'll secure it from the top. And from there, you can go over to the side. And then in the middle, you can do a pendant. The middle of something. And you can also make it straight by using the leveler. Okay, so this is the other one that I did inside the bedroom. This is a queen bedroom, so I only did one on one side. This is a different kind of light bulb. As you can see, it's not the vintage amber. This one's called a smoke, and it's also LED, so it's going to last a long time. And this light cage is blown glass. And this is also a smoke look. So it's low lumens, so it's not too bright in your face. These brackets are made of wood, and I bought them at Walmart for about six bucks each. And then I used a jigsaw to make a little slit there so that the cord could go through. Okay, so that's it. That is my DIY wall sconce. I hope that was helpful for you for saving some money on a wall sconce by making it yourself. Thanks for watching, and if you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. You can also subscribe to my channel and tap the notification bell too to be notified of the very next video. Thanks, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.